you just made me think that I should read something that I took from a college class. I took poetry classes and I there was a prose poem and a poem that I liked so much from them that I laminated them and they're in my wallet still. And I've never read this poem. Um, this is by I, A.I. I don't know if I'm pronouncing it correctly. She's, she's not a yes. She lives in Utah now, this woman. Um, but I've kept this poem and it is called The Good Shepherd. I lift the boy's body from the trunk set it down, then push it over the embankment with my foot. I watch it roll down into the river and feel I'm rolling with it. Feel the first cold slap of the water, wheeze and fall down on one knee. So tired, so cold. Lord, I need a new coat, and not polyester, but wool, new and pure, like the little lamb I killed tonight. With my right hand, the same hand that hits with such force, I push myself up gently. I know what I'd like, some hot cocoa by the heater. Went home. I stand at the kitchen sink, letting the water run till it overflows the pot. Then I remember the blood in the bathroom and show upstairs. I take cleanser, begin to scrub the tub, the tiles, the toilet bowl, then the bathroom. Mop, vacuum, and dust rag. Work, work for the joy of it, for the black boys who knew too much, but not enough to stay away. And sometimes a girl, the girls too. How their little hands grab at my ankles, my knees. And don't I lead them like a good shepherd? I stand at the sink where the water is still overflowing the pot. Turn off the faucet, then heat the water and sit down. After the last sweet mouthful of chocolate burns its way down my throat, I open the library book, the one on mythology, and begin to read. Saturn, it says, devours its children. Yes, it's true. I know it. An ordinary man, though, a man like me, eats and is full. Only God is never satisfied.